Welcome to another test of the SoloShot 3 robotic cameraman. In this episode, I'll be unfairly testing the SoloShot against a 5-inch freestyle racing drone. The purpose being to really push the boundaries on the tracking capability and see what we have to work with. Now just a side note here, I did notice some noise either with the zoom or the pan and tilt when I was doing this editing, which I didn't notice in my surf edit, probably due to the ambient wave noise. Now initially the tracking is doing quite well following me in a lazy loop around this track. I'm probably maxed out at 20, maybe 25 miles an hour here. Now Solo Shot recommends you don't come near the camera and you set up in a location where the camera is going to be at least a relative distance from your intended flying field. And that makes sense to me because you'll see here it does a good job of tracking as I fly directly away. The tilt works well as I punch out. And now as I start to come back towards the camera I do get rather close here about 25 feet away when I bank and you'll see there's a little bit of lag in the tracking. And of course the physics behind it is, you know, as you're closer to the camera, the camera is going to have to actually move not only a further distance but also at a faster speed and ultimately that pushes past the motor's capability. So a good thing to learn here is just make sure you have probably at least about a 40 foot distance away from the camera. Now you can see it's tracking quite nicely as I start to put a little bit of throttle into the drone. I'd say that was about a 50 plus mile an hour pass there. And provided, again, there's distance with the camera, it does a good job when I really start to give it gas. Now when I do bring it for a closer pass though, and I start to get in tight to the camera, it does struggle at full speed here but only loses it for just a little bit. So that, that's, that's pretty impressive. Now one thing to bear in mind is these RC drones do not fly anything like an RC airplane or some of those camera style drones which you've seen in some of the solo shot media. These freestyle racing drones can punch out several hundred feet in a second, radically change direction, and as you can see right now, as I start to fling the drone around a little bit more radically, it does really start to push the tracking. And I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm not disappointed with these results whatsoever because you would never see an RC airplane doing this type of flight characteristic. So now I'm doing what Solo Shot says definitely don't do, and it makes sense, which is don't fly over the camera. But I had to see what happened as a part of the scientific aspect of this test here. And uh, I have to admit, the solo shot actually does a good job. You know, I get lost, it gets lost for a second there, and then it quickly picks me up as I'm racing away, which I think is better than most humans could do if you attempted to fly over their heads. So ultimately, I'm really happy with this test. There are definitely some, definitely some challenges to the track and when you really push it hard, but if you're strategic about how you set up your flying field and where you locate your camera, you should be able to have a really good success with the tracking. Once the weather starts to cooperate over here and the winds aren't blowing over 20 miles an hour, I will give you guys some further tests with RC planes and hopefully some more surfing videos in the near future. Thanks for watching, and if you like what you see, please subscribe to my channel.